Hey everyone, and welcome to another another edition of my live tea tasting. Ooh, got a little bit tongue-tied there. Uh, I've got one that um, you guys are probably more excited about than I am, because <laughs> you guys know what week this is. Uh, I'm doing Earl Grey Bravo, and um, you guys, it's infamous how I feel about Earl Grey, but like a consummate professional, I'm going to do my best and be as uh, objective as I possibly can. Hey, Ma, welcome. Shanna, welcome. You guys are the first. Amanda, welcome. You guys are like the first ones to, to come witness the, uh, I'll be nice and say experience that I'm going to uh, be going through. Teresa, welcome. And Gabby, if you're there, welcome, welcome. Um, you guys know Alejandra, thank you for coming. Welcome. Um, I'm going to have some issues tonight because you guys know how I feel about Earl Grey. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this party started. It's still a party, even though the guest is not the most welcome. But, uh, yeah, this is gonna be uh, an interesting one for me specifically. Uh, because you guys know I'm always talking about. Uh, Izzy, welcome! Uh, I'm always talking about my personal feelings about Earl Grey, but, you know, I figured, like, you guys are always asking me if I ever do a tea that I don't like, and, you know, it's hard to find one that I don't like, but you guys know this is me going after a tea that I don't like. <laughs> so, here we go. I'm going to uh, open this puppy up and see... What kind of trouble I'm in tonight. Now, this is Earl Grey Bravo. I liked this one more than the other two. There's uh, Earl Grey uh, Lavender and Earl Grey Bella Luna. Uh, of the three, I like the, the Bravo the most. So I'm going to start with the scent as usual. And it this is going to be the best part. Greg, welcome! This is going to be the best part, the smell. I love the smell of Earl Grey. Uh, but it's it's... When it gets down to the taste, you'll see why. So, let's... I'll start with the smell. Mm. Okay, so it's really, really good. It smells amazing. It's basically a, a hair product. Uh, the bergamot gives it a really, a really good citrusy berry kind of smell to it. Um, it's not a very colorful tea. This is... Um, basically, it's black tea with... Um, orange peels, bergamot flavor, and blue cornflour. So it's not going to be a very bright and colorful tea. Oh, thanks. Glad you like it. Uh, you know what? I don't want to make it too strong. This is me wimping out just a little bit. Yeah, that should be nice. I mean, I, 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 you, you guys know I generally make my tea a little strong. Um, I'm going to pull back a little bit because I already know what I'm in for. So I'm going to show you guys right now what it looks like. See, so it's not a very colorful tea. You have the black tea in the middle. Uh, you have little specks of blue with the blue cornflower. You have the orange peels that was in there. Uh, that orange peel, and there's a bit more, um, it's going to add some uh some savoring uh some save saving qualities to it because um it's gonna distract a little bit well i'll i'll, I'll talk about that <laughs> when we get to it i don't want to give away too much uh but yeah so i'm going a little bit light you can see the tea comes to about here uh it will expand it's not going to expand too too much um, maybe a third to a half in size. Uh, the leaves are already quite big, so I'm not expecting too much growth. Um, but we'll see. I mean, it's been a while since I've had it. Um, I don't drink it very often, as you guys know. <coughs> Ooh, took it a little bit. <clears throat> Went down the wrong pipe. Um, but I'll talk about the, uh, the history, the legend. Uh, apparently there's no set legend. Um, but, okay, so the story goes that Charles Earl Grey, uh, went to China on a, uh, on a trip, uh, for like a diplomatic trip or something, and somebody gave him the, um, 
the recipe for a special tea which he brought back to England and took credit for its creation. Uh, the only problem with that story is uh, Chinese tea is not black and uh, Charles Earl Grey has never set foot in China. So other than that, everything else is true. Uh, he took credit for it and the general consensus was uh, this this part has been con confirmed. The general uh, the general consensus was sip sip ick. How can you drink that? You know people <laughs> have had um, a very strong opinion of this tea uh, all throughout history. And I mean, it's whenever I recommend it to to somebody, it's with a grain of salt. Um, I keep warning them that it's a fifty fifty shot that they might actually like it or hate it. So, you know, I mean, it's, it's luck of the draw. Um, I will never discourage anybody from having it. I just happen to be part of the latter group that doesn't quite like it. I've grown a tolerance for it. Um, oh, and my water's done. So I've grown a tolerance for it, but uh, that's about as, as good as I can get with this. So generally, since this is a black tea, it should be, the temperature should be steeped at 212 degrees, um, but unlike a regular black tea, it should only be steeped for about two minutes rather than five. So I'm going to be understeeping it a little bit. It'll still pull out all the flavor. Um, hopefully this will reduce the, um, the taste that, that happens basically uh, the effect, uh, I'll, I'll talk about what the exact taste is, um, after, while well, I'm actually tasting it, uh, but the, um, the effect of the taste is a bit bitter. It's a bit, um, well, I, I, I don't want to get too much into it because that is going to be uh, problematic <laughs> for, for uh, the rest of the stream if I give away too much during uh, during the intro. So, um, you know, I mean, it's, it's, this is something that I'm, I'm already struggling with, but I paid money for it. So it's not going to go to waste. Uh, this is for completely professional uh, things, this, uh, professional purposes, but, you know, just, you guys know, uh, for the record, uh, I'm doing it completely and totally for you guys. <laughs> Just because I don't always get a tea that I that I don't like. Um, oh, looks like Quackhead's going. Yep, that is the sound of my doom. So I'm going to let this drip out a little bit. And as well, it should be uh, fair to note that traditionally, Earl Grey is served with uh, with sugar and, uh, and cream. Um, I am not using either one. <laughs> I'm doing it, uh, completely, completely raw, completely unsweetened. Um, and this is something that I'm not truly <laughs> looking forward to. Uh, but, you know, like, like I said, this is the best of the, uh, of the three. So, I'm gonna be as completely fair and honest as I possibly can. Uh, I'm going to let that cool off a bit. Oh, but it still smells really, really good. I'm going to tap it a little bit to see if it is stopped. <laughs> it's storming out here, so you keep losing the signal. It's all right. Just keep coming back. That's what counts. Oh, hopefully, yeah, it's those last little drops that are going to get me. That always happens. I try so hard not to... You know what? I'm not even going to bother. I'm going to let that sit there and, uh, and and drip out a little bit. And I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when it pours. Let me get my tea rag. Oh, there we go. Pouring it out. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. Oh, it's hot. There we go. Okay, so you can see it's a nice dark color. Not the blackest tea that I've had, but it's up there. 
Uh, it's it's pretty dark. I'm gonna show you guys real quick. It's kind of around a little bit between last week's uh, Irish breakfast and Scottish breakfast. Uh, you guys remember how it was gradually getting darker uh, between the blend. This one, it's it's a fair it's a fair um, shade in between. I'll show you guys real quick. Look at that. It's a lot darker. Um, it's not as red as the Irish breakfast was last week, uh, but you see it's got those red qualities. And it's got the, um, it goes from, from black to red to tan. Uh, there's a little bit of a yellow halo and there's some clear water at the top. Uh, that is, um, it looks like it's on the way to the Scottish breakfast blend, uh, which you remember, hopefully, is uh, that the Scottish breakfast was super dark, uh, super, it, it was super strong, and there was no uh, clear water at the top. This one, you can see, it's it's got a little bit of the clear water, but not so much. So it's a, it's a, it's a good example of like the transition between the strength of the teas. Earl Grey is by nature a strong tea. Um, so I'm <laughs> I'm in for it tonight. Normally uh, strong isn't a bad thing, but we'll see. So here we go. Hmm. Okay. So it's not terrible when it's understeeped. But it tastes like a shampoo. It's a little bit bitter, starting from the mid tongue to the back. It's a strong, it's a strong um, citrus flavor. You can smell the orange. You can smell the bergamot. Um, but the taste, you taste it a little intensely. Now, when you drink Earl Grey, you, you, it kind of coats the tongue a little bit. Um, it keeps... It, 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 how do I put this? Uh, <laughs> it, it, it basically warms up your entire mouth at once. Uh, the, 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 the taste is really quick, really distinctive. Um, I, I don't eat shampoo, not on purpose. It's, you know... Sometimes it just gets in your mouth, you know? It's like, say you're uh, washing your hair, you just happen to yawn at the wrong moment, and bah! That just, you, you just, ooh. You get that, that bitter, that bitter taste of just a shot in the mouth. It's awful. Mmm. Okay. So, this... This isn't as bad as I remember it. It's not my first choice, uh, but it's not terrible. Um, I t I'm, I guess it's because I'm already tolerating it. Um, but I had to I had to build up to this point. It took three three ounce uh, three ounce bags of uh, of Earl Grey. I used um, Earl Grey Bravo. Uh, there was Earl Grey Lavender and Earl Grey Bella Luna. And uh, all three, I bought at the same time. So I had no choice but to drink all of them, one after the other, because um, basically it was a waste of money if I didn't. And it helped me learn to tolerate. Of course, I, I put sugar in it and, and cream. Uh, it helps a lot. Uh, but tonight, I don't have that, um, I don't have that net below me <laughs> oh excuse me I'm hiccuping already that's not a good sign all right I'll put this thing down because <laughs> you know it's 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 there <laughs> it's like it's it's hard for me to put into words sometimes how um, how it is because, I mean, I don't want to give you guys the wrong impression. It's not horrible. I can see why people like it. Um, me in particular, I don't... I, I, I don't love it. 
Um, but it's it's not awful. You know, it's it's not like a really bad tea. Uh, whenever I talk about it, people get a little turned off and sometimes a little scared. Uh, I have a coworker who I told her I was going to share her, some of this with her on uh, on Monday, and she was scared to try. I'm like, you know, don't don't be scared of it. It's a it's a new experience, and it's something you know it's not going to kill you. Um, and it's a fifty fifty shot. You might actually like it. Uh, I have a couple friends that that do, and they think I'm crazy for uh, for for not liking it. But I mean, like, <laughs> it's okay. It's bergamot, um, and you know, it is. It is tasty, but that it's what that taste is, and what that taste is on the back end, that is kind of what turns me off, you know? Uh, if you can get past that that uh, that bitter back end part, you're golden, you know? I mean, not everybody can. <laughs> I, I am learning to. It's still a learning process, but, you know, I mean, everybody has their own tastes. But that's, you know, that's why I do these, because, you know, not everybody's going to share my opinion, not everybody's going to share my taste. Uh, I might look at you funny if you say you like this, but ultimately, to each their own, you know? Mm. And I'm trying to get as much out of the taste as I possibly can. Um, that's why I'm, I'm drinking slowly and I'm slurping it loudly, uh, because I don't want to come across as... Uh, being unfair, you know. I mean, this is—it's—it's it's a decent—it's a decent tasting tea. I'm not gonna lie, you know, and, and give it a bad rap. But it's—it's—it's it's, it's good. It's—it's—it's it's, it's not terrible. And I, I feel—I feel bad about saying that because you guys know I, I rag on it all the time. But you know, I mean, it's not—it's not terrible. It's just a thing to say, you know. Mm. Now, normally, this would be the part of the stream where I just go, Ah, oh, it's so good. But I can't in good conscience do that. <laughs> it's, um, it's really... I mean, I, I wish... I wish that I could just, like, give you all a taste so that you can make up, uh, make up your own minds. Um, because while I am saying that it's not particularly my taste... Um, I don't want to come across as being, um, being, like, negative with it. I mean, people, people like it. Earl, Charles Earl Grey did. <laughs> you know, so much that he took credit for it. Um, I mean, I say, you know, why not go with it? I wish I had a tea named after me. I would totally, uh, I would totally do that. But maybe one day. We'll see. I'll, I'll have to, like, go to China, find some black tea, and name it after myself. <laughs> Even though, you know, black tea isn't found in China, but neither was Earl Grey, so. Anyway. <laughs> so if you guys have any questions, any comments, anything you want to throw at me, I know I'm, I'm doing this early. Um, I always, I, I, I want to get your opinions on um, on what you think that Earl Grey is, uh, based on what I talk about, because, you know, I mean, I, I don't want to give you guys the wrong impression. Um, and I, I, you know, I mean, I, I, I'm trying to stay as conscious um, of what I say in general. Uh, but by the same token, uh, welcome back. Welcome back, Alejandra. Um... By the same by the same token, I mean you know my opinion is just my opinion. I always uh, encourage you guys to explore your own tastes, uh, explore your own feelings, and who knows? I mean this might be something you actually enjoy. You know, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I kind of wish I had some cream. Um, I have sugar, but I'm I'm using restraint. <laughs> I'm I'm doing this the professional way. I'm getting. 100% taste out of this that's part of here. Now, it's starting to cool off a little bit. 
Just a little bit. Um, and I'm getting more of the um, the shampoo, uh, the shampoo taste. The uh, like every time I breathe out, I taste it, and it's it's like how do I put this? Um, a little bit soapy. It's a little bit. Um, I want to do this as tactfully as possible, <laughs> as you can tell. Um, I mean, I'm I'm being honest right now. I mean, it's 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 best drank when it's piping hot uh, because your, your taste buds are not as sensitive when it's uh, when it's when it's at uh, full temperature. But by the same token, I'm drinking this and doing a stream at the same time, so by the end of it, it's not going to be as hot as, uh, as I'd like it. Now, it is cooling down a little bit more so that I can drink more at a time. Um, that's why you hear the loud slurps, because I'm, taking, I'm intaking more. Um, and it's not... It's not terrible. You know, I... I mean, maybe I was, maybe I'm giving it a bad rap because um, it's been so long since I did have it that you know I, I've built it up into being this monster that is in the closet. It's like Earl Grey is gonna get you. No, it's 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 not terrible. I mean, it's not gonna. I don't believe it's ever gonna be like my go-to tea, um, but it's not awful so out of out of five stars I would give it three you know I'm a little above average it's it's fine I have had worse teas um, <laughs> you guys have seen my me and the broccoli tea it was an interesting experience all around it wasn't the best tasting tea <gasps> oh excuse me but it did have some uh, rede <gasps> redeeming qualities oh excuse me it's... Ooh, I'm fighting the hiccups. Oh, Okay. I gotta drink it. Oh, Ooh. Ooh, I gotta chill. Ooh. That... That hit me, like, right in the back of my neck. Like, I drank it and, and there was a chill that went up my spine. Uh, just because that I couldn't swallow right away because I was I was fighting the hiccup, and I had the shampoo taste in my mouth a little bit longer than I would have liked, uh, and you know that at that point it became a little bit harder to swallow. Um, God, I I mean, it's really not as bad as. I'm making it out to be, but like, by the same token, <laughs> by the same token, it kind of is. Um, I mean, everybody's going to have a different reaction to it, um, and I mean, I, I feel I feel kind of bad for for saying these kind of things because I mean, you guys know I I genuinely love tea, and it's like sometimes when you have a bad child, it's hard to admit it's a bad child, <laughs> but. When you got a bad, when you got a bad child, you gotta beat it once in a while, you know. You're like, hey, behave. Not to say you know, like beating your children really hard is uh, is a bad thing, but I mean, is a is a good thing. But I don't know. Don't beat your kids too hard. That's the moral of this story. Hey, I can say that because I got beat as a kid too, right, Ma? You'll know. Mm, I got the chancleta a couple times. <laughs> oh, but look at how, how well I turned out. Nice and well-rounded and kind of psycho, you know. That's... <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Enough about me and my rough childhood. <laughs> Hi, Ma. <laughs> I know. I'm going to have some of that rough childhood back <laughs> at the end of the month when Ma comes to visit. I'll tell you. <laughs> Oh, she's going to bring some special chancletas for me. <laughs> I 
Daddy. Okay, okay. All right, all right. I'll behave. I'll behave. <laughs> all right. I gotta put this down. I can't hold it. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll, I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna be good before I dig myself into a deeper hole than I'm already in. Mm. Oh. Okay. Whew. My God. I'm like. I had a heavy a heavy dinner. So I'm kind of like. I'm already kind of stuffed. Um, the tea is adding to it, and it's not like, right now my mouth, all, all that's left in it at the moment is like that, that shampoo kind of, uh, kind of taste. It's, uh, how do I put this? It's like, it's, it's effervescent, kind of like when you have mint, um, and it, it, cools the tongue and you get like that minty uh that minty taste when you breathe it's like that only with shampoo only with like the bergamot um and it's like it's a little it's a it's a little questionable i mean yeah this is the natural state this is the natural way uh that it's going to be um i can guarantee that while i'm drinking this for the rest of the week um, I'm going to be adding cream and sugar a lot, so, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll just go with that. Ooh, it is, ooh, it's storming out there. It's starting to get a little loud. Uh, I think that is a, um, that is a foreshadowing <laughs> of, of the rest of this stream. Uh, Earl Grey is gonna get me. <laughs> it's like, ooh. Yeah, it's, I, I'm, I'm waiting to be got. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is, it's, it's not, it's, I'm waiting for lightning to strike. It's not, it's not terrible though. I mean, it's, it's just the aftertaste that's, uh, that's, that's getting me a little bit. Oh, whew, I'm so stuffed right now. I should not have eaten so much. Um, this is, this tea is highly caffeinated, uh, so I'm probably not going to be, uh, sleeping <laughs> all that well tonight. Um, I mean, you guys know that caffeine normally doesn't, uh, doesn't affect me all that much, but sometimes, like, when you are fully awake, um, and then you have caffeine on top of that, uh, it doesn't make it any easier to actually sleep. Um... This is a morning kind of tea. Um, it's not very relaxing. Um, I mean, it, it might be if you like the bergamot taste. Um, if you if you prefer it, then this would be like an afternoon. Um, probably not an evening tea, but this is definitely this is definitely a morning tea. Something that'll kick you in the pants to wake you up. Uh, it's got a lot of good qualities to it. Um, it's got a lot of of health qualities. Um, you guys, you know, black tea is always good for like immunity, uh, for your um, your uh, not digestion. What is it? The uh, the me metabolism. Uh, it's good for. It's good to help clean you out. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it's 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 always easier to mention the um the good qualities when the taste is just as good you get excited about it uh but this i mean it's 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 all right it's like down the middle um i'm certainly glad that i understeeped it uh because oversteeped this is not a tea that i would mess with when it was oversteeped it would be the kind that would be really hard to swallow uh cuz i mean when I mean the bergamot is bad enough, but when you oversteep a black tea, it intensifies the bitterness, and um, I can only imagine what it would do to the soapy flavor. That would just be how oh, it would be too too hard to handle. But in this case, it's not bad. Uh, I, I I think I did a good job with the uh, with the temperature uh, and the time. 
uh, especially the time, because generally, if I had not read the instructions beforehand, I would have done it for five minutes, and you would have literally witnessed my death. <laughs> It, I don't know what it would do to me, but it would just be awful. Oh, my God. But I'm... I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm cool. <laughs> I'm good with this for now. Uh, you guys have any questions, any comments, anything you want to uh, throw at me, feel free to, to do so. Uh, I, and I also... You know, while I'm digesting, I also have the fan on me. Because um, it's really, it's really, uh, it's really hot, and it's humid, and uh, Carrie, welcome! Uh, it's really humid out here, so when you, when you drink a black tea in, in like the heat and the humidity, uh, it combines it, and it makes you kind of uncomfortable, uh, because you're sweating on top of the humidity. It's alright, better late than never! I mean, I'm, I'm doing Earl Grey, so, you know, this is, uh, <laughs> the more people that watch, the merrier, because uh, this is classically one that uh, I'm not a fan of, uh, but, you know, me wanting to be professional and wanting to bring to you all the teas regardless of my personal feelings, uh, this is, this is, this is the proof <laughs> that I can be a consummate professional when I need to be. Most of the time, I'm not. <laughs> Most of the time, I'm a big old unprofessional goofball. But this is one of those times that uh, I have to pull my, myself together and uh, get it done. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> All right, I swallowed a lot that time, and it hit me in the back of the throat. Um, the initial, the initial taste, when all of that is concentrated on the swallow, uh, it kind of like just whacks you in the back of the throat with a shampoo. And it's like taking a swig of, uh, oh, the aftertaste is still there. The aftertaste is, it's very strong and it's like, I, I'm having physical... <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say physical symptoms, uh, physical reactions to this tea. Um, <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. God, I, I really wish Stuart was here. Because Stuart would probably give it a much better review than me. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Because he tends to like Earl Grey. This is not the time to get the hiccups. Because I don't want to drink more to get rid of them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but the first cup is mostly down. So I'm going to go ahead and top myself off. There we go. Look at that nice copper. Oh, nice copper looking liquid. Oof. Oh, my God. I'm so stuffed right now. I'm like, it's, it's, I'm still digesting. But, I'm going to get through this. I have about half a cup left. And, you know, I, I generally I like to take my time. And, uh, you know, I, I, I'm trying not to rush to get this over with. But I feel like, like, I can't really savor it. You know? Um, just a personal thing. I can't really, uh... I mean, I, I can stomach it, but I'm not particularly enjoying this one uh, really, really all that much. Oof. So, yeah, I do not, I do not recommend letting it get cold because this, this, I'm getting more shampoo flavor. Uh, that I'm comfortable with. Uh, it's, it's... The, the taste is... It, it's just in there. Um, and it's a slow, it's a slow burning taste. Like, 
after this stream, it's probably still going to be in my mouth for about 10 minutes out. Um, it's, it's staying there. Like, like it's, it's, <sighs> I, I'm trying not to regret breaking my rule of, uh, not, of, of putting sugar in there. Uh, but it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's exactly, it's shampoo. It really is. The bergamot has a lot of qualities that go in like shampoo, conditioner, uh, skincare products, hair products. Uh, it's, it's, it smells amazing. And, you know, I kind of wish that it tasted just as amazing. But, I mean, to me it doesn't. Uh, so many people love it. So many people can, can go on and on about the beauties of this tea. I can't. Uh, it's just my particular taste. Um, it's, it's, it's hard for me. I, you guys have seen me go on and on about teas, just raving about how wonderful they are. Uh, but this one is kind of like, I will, I will never say don't drink it. But as for me, I only drink it on a very rare occasion. Um, like when I'm doing a stream about it. <laughs> that's, uh, that, that's pretty much the only time I would do it. Um, I did have one Earl Grey that I liked, um, and that was in uh, Tilula's. They have an Earl Grey with, um, that's mixed with Lapsang Sao Chong. And, I mean, the smokiness of it really tempered the, um, really tempered the shampoo uh, a lot. So when I was drinking, I got a lot of the smokiness to cover up for the aftertaste. And that was, that was amazing. I mean, me and Lapsang, we're, we're like that. You know, I love Lapsang Sao Chong. Uh, especially first thing in the morning or the afternoon uh, during lunch. It gives you a good um, cleansing. As far as your palate is concerned, it will overtake everything. Uh, it might be a little strong for a lot of people, and, and that's okay. I mean, that's another one that when I recommend, uh, I recommend with, with a side note of, you may not like this, you may hate me for recommending it, but... Um, I mean, a lot of people, a lot of people like it. And they're surprised because it tastes, uh, Miriam, welcome! It tastes so smoky, it tastes like barbecue. Uh, so when you, when you drink it, it's, it's, it catches you off guard if you're not, if you're not expecting it. This, uh, the Earl Grey has that same effect, but whether or not that effect is a positive or a negative, it's up to you. Yeah, you you certainly did miss a lot. Guess you were on the on the bus and you just forgot about me. It's okay. I forgive you this time. Next time. No. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I gotta stop making that face. I know it's 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 really off-putting. Um, oh, Doctor Spock. Okay, I guess I guess I can let you off the hook this time and next time. But other than that, no promises. <laughs> but anyway, um, I, I know that I'm making this face, and it's it's hard for me not to, because um, I mean I I can still I can still taste it, and. Frankly, by the end of this uh, stream, I'm probably gonna take uh, like a bottle of squeeze mayonnaise and ah, <laughs> right in there. Just get all of that. I don't want to say washed up, but uh, no problem. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to get. I don't. I don't mean like get it washed up, but like cover the taste a little bit. Maybe I'll get some spicy mustard in there. <laughs> like get some condiments, something. Um, if I were to pair it with something, uh, I don't know, what would you guys, 
what would you guys pair shampoo with besides conditioner? You know, it's like, uh, God. Um, I would put it with another fruit. Um, maybe like a jelly donut. This would actually probably pair well with a jelly donut. Um, probably pair well with like uh, one of those 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 cookies with the not the cherry in the middle, but like the 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 jelly. Uh, what else is there? Um, oh, ambrosia, ambrosia because uh, it's got like the the cream and the fruit and stuff in it. That might be a good pairing. Uh, but yeah, the trash from <laughs> the looks that I'm making. I know, I know, and I don't, I don't. Ooh, that was a loud one. Ooh, my my, my floor is shaking. <laughs> that was. I, I I'm sorry to the gods of Earl Grey, the spirit of Earl Grey. I'm sorry. I'm broadcasting my uh, general dislike of your tea. Please forgive me. <laughs> I'm so gonna get struck down. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear it, but that last one was pretty loud. Uh, anyway, what was that? I forgot. Oh yeah, I, what I'm pairing it with. Um, surprisingly, I honestly think that it would go well with with uh, with cheese, because it's got like that kind of uh, tart uh, flavor from the um, from the, the the citrus, like a kind of a berry. Smidgen has to go, but not on this. One. Yeah, I, I yeah, the weather is kind of bad. Um, if, if she does go out, have her, like, stay close, because that's not going to be, uh, that's not going to be a good thing. Rick, welcome! It didn't tell me that you snuck in there. <laughs> Whew, I am quite stuffed, and I still have a bit more to go, so if you have any questions, any comments, just throw them at me. I'm, uh, whew, I, it's a little hard to breathe. But I'm doing all right. Mm. Oh, God. Okay, so, yeah. It's right about now. Apparently so, you're, you're a super ninja. Um, apparently it's getting a little bit cooler than I'd like. It's more... It's getting, like, slightly above room temperature. And, um, that, that shampoo flavor is, it's, it's making it a little bit hard, hard to swallow, in literally and figuratively. Um, it's like, it's, 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 it's difficult, but it's not, it, it's not terrible. I can see why some people like it. I, I mean, I, I know I keep repeating that because, you know, I mean, I, I'm trying to stay balanced. It's just not my cup of tea. But uh, <laughs> it's it's just not. I guess I, I'm assuming that that's actually the exact tea that people say it's not my cup of tea about. This is this is it. It's just not my cup of tea. But it is a cup of tea, and I'm presenting it to you guys, uh, just as is. Oh God, I'm so stuffed right now. I'm trying to. I, I, it's hard to continue to drink it when I'm on a full stomach already, and it's a tea that I'm not too keen on. Um, but, you know, I mean, I'm pushing through. This is a labor of love, um, and I'm, I'm getting it done. Oh. Oh my god, I'm so stuffed. Okay, well, <clears throat> um, I'm going to take a few minutes to do some announcements. I'm going to put that down for now because it's, 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 it's taking its toll. Um, okay, so announcements. Uh, next month, I'm going to be starting the T fandom. You guys have uh, asked for it. So, I've... Ooh. Oh, that was loud. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you guys asked for it, you guys voted, so I will be starting my uh, fandom for uh, for the Marvel Comics. 
Um, this is for the recommendation that Shanna made. Uh, his, his name was uh, something Woody. Uh, I'll, I'll know the name of it next week. But being the, uh, the first week of, of September, the first Friday of September, I should say, um, it's going to start that whole, uh, that whole series of fandom tees. So, uh, I'll be, I'll be presenting that to you guys, um, starting next week. Uh, what is it? This is the most polite diss on T ever. Yes, it absolutely is. I'm not trying to diss it because, you know, I mean, it does have its own quality, uh, as a T. Um, it's kind of like the, she has a nice personality <laughs> kind of moment. Um... It's, yeah, I mean, like, it's, it's a nice personality. I almost let that one pass. And that is not good. <laughs> oh, anyway. <laughs> That's not good. I gotta be on top of it. My tea puns. I guess Earl Grey is like my weakness. It, it, it dulls my senses slightly. But that's okay. Um, anyway. So I'll be starting the, um, Famine? What's famine? Uh, I'll be starting the, uh... I'll be starting... The, oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, what? Famine? Um, I'll be starting the, uh, the fandom tees. I got out some really good ones. Um, Woody is known for making some really good tees. I haven't had any from him before, but I've taken the recommendation. Um, and it should be good. Uh... Yeah, and I guess you know I'll, I'll I'll do them one week at a time, and I'll announce it the week before. Uh, you guys will see; it's it's gonna be interesting. Um, I'll but I'll I'll talk about more. Uh, I'll talk about that more next week, uh, at the beginning. Um, and, uh, once oh yeah, and congratulations to our winner Becky, uh, who won the teapot last week. Uh, she just got it today, and her reaction was, "This is so cute." She loves it. She picked the girliest color ever. It came in pink. And I'm teasing her about it. <laughs> but she's really satisfied. So uh, I'm going to give her... Uh, I'm going to give her some some tea lessons. Because she needs it. She needs to find a tea that she likes. Uh, and hopefully we'll be able to, to get a good one. Um, but yeah. So there's that. Um, and... I've been I've been talking about this for weeks and it's way beyond uh, behind schedule. Uh, I have been trying to get my IMVU room up and running. Um, there has been delay after delay after delay. I'm waiting on one last piece, one last piece, and then I'll be able to open up my IMVU room. So uh, everybody that's uh, <laughs> that's on IMVU and watching this stream right now, Alejandra, I see you. Um, Everybody that's on IMVU will be able to join it. This will be uh, an official, um, an official connection to the community, um, and you guys will, will will have some extra fun in there. We'll be hanging out. Um, I'll get more people invited, more people on the stream, more people. It's all for it's all for the. Oh, Rick, that's right. I, I forgot that uh, you're on there because you don't have the uh, the IMVU picture on your icon but yeah you are going to get an invite don't worry i'll let you know it should be up sometime this week um i'm just waiting on one last piece and we'll get it going so i have about two or three more uh sips left so go ahead throw it at me you have any questions comments anything you want to uh, talk about let me know now's the time Mm. <laughs> uh, I know I keep see I, I, I know I have to join you sometime. Uh, I keep coming in at like when um, like either either I'm I'm online and I'm busy or I'm not at my computer at all. Uh, but I see when you come in and you're on your 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 group. I, I need to just drop in. <laughs> I'm I'm Honestly, I'm horrible at joining uh, uh, 
adjoining public rooms. I'm, that's the thing, like, whenever you invite me, I'm, like, either not at my computer or I'm, like, working on something else. Um, and I, I come back and I see that I missed your invitation. I'm like, no! But <laughs> I promise I'll be, uh, I'll be better at it. Um, I'm terrible at going to public rooms, but by the same token, like, why am I opening another public room? I have two of them. One I semi-abandoned. <laughs> but, um, but let's, uh, we'll see how this one goes. I want this one to be more active. Uh, it's got a theme, it's got a purpose, um, and you know what, the more people that come in, the better. So, uh, once I open it, I'll, I'll send invites to you guys, you can come in, you invite your friends, and, uh, they say, you know I'm on, and you can always pop in, yeah, yeah, oh, absolutely. I plan on it, I just don't always execute it very well, <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm trying to get better. I go through... I go through seasons of, um, shall we say, uh, anti-social behavior. Uh, so sometimes I'm in, sometimes I'm out. Uh, sometimes uh, I, I'm better at being in public rooms. But, you know, I mean, nobody's perfect. Hmm. Oof. Alright, I'm down to my last swallow. And that last swallow might take a little while for me to recover from this current swallow. <laughs> because the taste of the entire pot is still in my mouth. Oh, I, I appreciate that. <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, I will, I promise I will make time for you guys, though. Uh, I... I I have met one or two people from the group uh, from earlier on, but I, I, I don't know if they'll remember me. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, how could they forget me? I, I'm awesome. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we'll see. Oof. Uh, so which shampoo is it? Uh, Pantene. It's all about Pantene Pro-V. Uh... I don't know. <laughs> That's the only one that comes to mind. For hair so healthy, it shines. And I don't know, is my tongue shining? Ah. Because all I taste is like that shampoo. Does, does, does my tongue have more body and more volume? I can't... I, I don't know. Does it... Does it flow? I gotta do that, that, that uh, slow motion... <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, all those commercials, they always had the, the girls flipping their hair in slow motion. Was... <laughs> oh man, I, I, I gotta have a sense of humor about it, because this is, it's a hard one for me, like, <laughs> you guys, it could use, some, it could, well, my teeth are brushed fine, it's my tongue that needs a little work. Uh, especially now that it's like humid outside, my tongue is frizzy, so <laughs> this shampoo may help a little bit. My taste buds are going, <laughs> oh my god, that's awful, awful, okay, anyway, <laughs> I, right now my tongue looks like Teresa's uh, fraggle, that's going, I don't know if you guys can see each other's, um, each other's icons, but my sister has that fraggle with the hair coming out. That's exactly what my tongue is doing right now. <laughs> okay, last call, last sip. Oh, not a not a moment too soon. Down the hatch, down the hatch. Mm. Whew, I did it, you guys. I survived. This was... Oh, this was this wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. Um, I built it up in my mind a lot. Uh, you can guarantee that after I get off this stream, I'm going to run over to my fridge and get some spicy mustard and just ah all over there. But 
consummate professional right now. This is me. I'm, uh, hooray! <laughs> right here, right now. I, I, I did it. I survived. Um, so, if you guys are curious, and, you know, I'm despite my review, I hope you guys still are. Um, I would recommend first trying the, uh, the $5, um, sample tea, because, as I always say, it's a 50-50 shot, you'll either hate it or you'll love it. And you don't want to waste too much money unless you're able to sample it first. <laughs> oh, excuse me. So, if you guys are lucky enough to be in Chicago, and you're lucky enough to, ha to have me as a friend, and you're lucky enough for me to take you down to Adagio, you can try a sample for tea. Uh, for, sorry, for free. Um, and you'll know right then and there if you like it or not. Uh, but since, like, 90% of you guys are, like, spread out over uh, all over the U.S., um, I will recommend either trying it at home first. Uh, now, now, keep in mind, you have to be very selective about any tea that you sample first because it could very well turn you off teas altogether. Um... That's what happens when you drink Lipton. You guys, I mean, I, I know I keep saying this, uh, and I, I hate bad-mouthing Lipton, but, I mean, a lot of people are just turned off by it uh, because it's it's not very good quality. It's not it's not really authentic. You know, I, I hate to say that, but, like, I mean, the... the, the well, okay, no, no, I take it back. I don't, I don't want to say it's not authentic. Uh, it's just the quality is not the best. So, if you are to try an Earl Grey, um, and it's already a bad quality Earl, Gw uh, Earl Grey, you might never get up the nerve to drink a good quality Earl Grey. And that's what I'm tr trying to avoid here. Um, this is a good quality Earl Grey. While it may not be my taste, it could be yours. So, uh, <laughs> I'm going to... I'm going to post the um, the link to Earl Grey Bravo. Uh, there are two other blends that they use Earl Grey with. I don't believe I'll be doing the other two. Maybe one day in the far, far future. And this will be a very spread out kind of thing. Um, but yeah, this, I, I, I'll, I'll leave the, um, this one was the best of the three. To me, oh 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 wait! Ah, I almost forgot. I was letting it dry, but I'm going to show you guys how how much it expanded. I almost forgot. So it looks like it just about doubled in size. Um, it used to be like about right there. I under, I underpacked it. So yeah, it, it doubled. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, there you go. There's too much shine on there. But yeah, you guys see the level it kind of doubled in there it actually that's that's more of of an expansion than i expected which i mean I, I'm, I'm glad for it i mean it surprises me i'm all up for surprises uh but yeah so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and uh share the link with you guys um i hope that you know despite my review you guys are still curious you guys uh are still willing to try it um, I highly encourage you to be brave, um, because had I not been brave, I would have never tried this tea to begin with. I would have never tried any tea to begin with, uh, because Lipton had turned me off for years. And, you know, I mean, that was, I, I did not know any better. But you guys, the ball is in your court. Uh, I encourage you to try it at least once. See which side of the 50-50 you're on, and you'll be good to go. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and sign out. Uh, any last minute announcements? Probably not. Not off the top of my head. If I do come up with anything, I'll just update the, uh, the community. And you guys have a great weekend. It's a three-day weekend. So, everybody have fun. Go to your barbecues. This is the last time this summer you'll get the chance. Uh, cause fall is rapidly approaching and, um... I, I'd hate to see summer go, but you got to let go sometime, right? So have a great weekend. Have a wonderful holiday. Rest up if you can, and I will see you next week. Have a good one.